News 46, local coverage you can count on. For all your construction needs, big or small, call Ron Murphy Construction, one of Rump's most respected contractors from septic tank installation to pad development. Roads, driveways, and infrastructure, Ron Murphy Construction has the experience and the expertise to complete your project on time and at a reasonable cost. Ron Murphy knows the Prompt Valley and wants to take the desert and turn it into a place of beauty, be it home or business development. For more information, call Ron Murphy Construction, 727-6090. Yeah, I'm glad you asked. Uh, basically, what we got is the Boy Scouts, uh, in conjunction with uh, our family, had put up a tower here about six years ago. And it's a Columbia weather system, a very accurate system. It's uh, fully digital, and it's put on a computer, and we keep the statistics for Pahrump. And uh, any of the events, what we call events, that are uh, uh, reportable to the National Weather Service, we're weather spotter, and we give that information to the National Weather Service. How many different uses does this have? Well, in our particular case, we use it also for agricultural. Um, we use this to determine how long we have to water. We've got the evaporation rate for our crops, and we put that programming in, so it tells us exactly how much water we have in order to produce the crops. So we save a lot on the watering also. Tell us a little bit about how the National Service um, Weather Service uses a weather spotter like yourself. Well, I've been a weather spotter since the late 80s, early 90s. In any type of event, if we get wind over 40 miles an hour, if we get uh, substantial rainfall, or if we're getting wind shears or downdrafts, or if we have a lot of, uh, uh, of the uh, dust devils and things going through the valley, we report this so that the National Weather Service can go ahead and properly notify people, especially you know, like the trucking industry, campers, RVers, people that are traveling our roadways. They need to know when we're having those wind shears and stuff coming through the mountains. Have the scouts themselves learned how to use the system? Well, yes, they have. We've got a number of them that got their weather merit badge uh, through this particular system here. So they're, they're keeping track of the data. And, uh, for instance, we had 1.89 inches of total rainfall the entire year last year at this location. Um, that doesn't mean that you had 1.89. It means just at this particular location. Um, we have a lot of areas here in the valley that will have heavier precipitation and a lot of areas that might not have any. And you... Um we're a part of Prompt Valley Fire and Rescue. Tell me how many benefits that this had for just the Prompt Valley Fire and Rescue. Well, when we were going to have certain events coming up, I would notify the fire chief that, uh, let's say, we were going to have high winds this afternoon and that they were going to be putting warnings out. What I would get is I'd get the information from the National Weather Service would come up on the computer, which automatically would email me on my telephone. And it would let me know what the weather was going to be, what our durations were going to be. So let's say we could be a little better protected and uh, prepared, you know, as the fire department uh, for an event that would be coming up. So let's say we were going to have a dust storm or high debris, or um, if we had fires, we were know noting the fact that we were going to have high sustained winds in an afternoon, we could be prepared for that. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about each component of the tower? Yeah, if you look at the tower itself, on the far left-hand side, we've got a temperature. It looks like a bunch of dishes uh, that are inverted. Inside's a digital temperature probe and then also a humidity probe. And then the uh, uh, gold-capped device is a rain gauge. It's accurate to one one-thousandth of an inch of rain. And then there's a little solar collector. It looks like a little cop that's sitting there. And that tells us how much solar radiation we have. In the very top of the tower, if you go all the way up to the top, we've got the uh, actual wind speed. It's a diamond crystal setting up on top, very, very accurate, very expensive. And uh, it can tell me my wind speed uh, in one-tenth of a mile an hour increments. 